Beautiful Chef Pounding. That your only fan title. That works. That should. Hi guys, it's Cheryl. Today I'm gonna review this Italian chef challenge on Col Roger, who is Vincenzo Plates. I think this is a video about the carbonara, so I also dress very white today. I'm a carbonara lover, but it's so hard to get authentic Italian food in my area. But let's see what will happen. Hiya! This Italian Hiya. chef, Vincenzo Plate, he challenging Uncle Roger. Every video you do is egg fried rice, egg fried rice. Can you actually cook something else? <laughs> or you only cook one dish? Huh? Maybe that's why Auntie Ellen left oh, you. Oh no! <laughs> he insult my egg fried rice and my marriage. <gasps> okay, Vincenzo, in this video, Uncle Roger gonna make my own carbonara. Show you I not just one trick pony. Carbonara is not very difficult, right? White food is always easy. Oh, Auntie Liz, Uncle Roger back at your restaurant because I need to use your kitchen oh, even Auntie though Liz. I've been fired from here two times now. Oh, Auntie Liz is so beautiful. Yeah, I can't seem to get rid of you, Uncle Roger. <laughs> I hear this Italian chef has challenged you to make some pasta. Hi, Uncle Roger! You have been reviewing so many egg fried rice videos. But I like this accent from Italian, like their tongue like draw all the time. Every video you do is egg fried rice, egg fried rice, <laughs> egg like pasta. Slash. Is enough. Uncle I am Roger. challenging you to make spaghetti alla carbonara. Do not I don't know how to make my tongue like that. Follow your best friend Gordon Ramsay because he uses peas and cream fresh for carbonara. Ooh. Mm. The challenge is on. This chef Bring is so on. cute. Foo. Yo. Hi, uh, he insulting Uncle Gordon and he can't even say Fuyo correctly. <laughs> okay, Vincenzo, Uncle Roger gonna make carbonara so easy. Step one, if you use cream, throw it out. <laughs> you make Italian people cry because cream is like Italian people chili jam. So Hi, I like cream. Uncle Roger, you can't do a carbonara without some good quality black pepper. Correct. So I got you this very special sour pepper. Sarawak, oh, this black Ooh. pepper from Malaysia. See, there are no good black pepper from Singapore. <laughs> I never heard that black pepper also have many species. That is so cool. <laughs> That's where Auntie Liz from. And also there's a present for you, because oh. I know how much you like pounding. Oh, <laughs> Auntie Liz no Uncle Roger too well. I love pounding. <laughs> is this how peanut allergy guy pound you? A little bit faster. <laughs> <laughs> No! Oh, Uncle Roger likes slow and sensual. Is this what you do? Don't make too much mess. Hiya. Glad I'm not wearing a low-cut top today. No, you should wear low-cut top. This perfect for your only fan. Only fan? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that is. Oh, you don't know what only fan is? They sell naked photo for money. Yeah, I just watched an interview video. It says that people on OnlyFans they can earn a Lamborghini. Also, the interesting is that the comment below that people can spend thirty dollars a month for naked photos, but not for the charity. I don't know what to say. Yeah, beautiful chef pounding. That your only fan title. That works. That should work. And Vincenzo, the meat you need for carbonara is this thing. Guanciale. It's from the pig's cheeks. It's got a really oh. good flavor and lots of fat in it. I like pig's cheek, but it's also so hard to buy in my area. Don't use bacon. Don't use pancetta. They're for poor people. What would you use uh, if uh, your niece and nephew can't find guanciale? If niece and nephew can't find guanciale, then get your shit together and move to better neighborhood. <laughs> Now you need to chop your guanciale to little strip. Nice knife. How I do? It looks good, nice and even. And look at the meat, it is so fat and the barbell is so beautiful. My chopping improved since last time? Yeah, be careful of the knife, it's very, very sharp. Hiya, stop woman splaining. Uncle Roger, you <laughs> sharp knife before? It's chef splaining. Win one Michelin star and now so arrogant. <laughs> Get out. Cut be. away skin on the guanciale because nobody wants foreskin on your pork. Oh God, sorry children. Oh, I just realized what they're talking. Don't steal Uncle Roger catchphrase. <laughs> you see here, this the skin. 
don't take this part off. This way, all the flavor is. Oh. Now we slice it into strip. Until is you write your knife very sharp. Mm. She cut through like butter. Oh, you see the oil even there. Fuyo, so pretty. Look at this. Can you eat guanciale raw? I wouldn't recommend it. I think you can eat cure. There's no bacteria on there. <laughs> and of course, you can't make spaghetti carbonara without spaghetti. But when you buy spaghetti, niece and nephew, only buy the good stuff. Sorry, every time I just randomly pick the cheapest one. See, this one, so yellow. This is stuff you get from regular grocery store. Tastes like shit, throw it out. But look Aya. at this one. This the Don't good shit. And everywhere. Uncle Roger also prefers spaghetti to regular spaghetti because Uncle Roger fancy. <laughs> What's the difference between spaghetti and spaghetti? Oh, it's just thicker. Things are better when they're thicker. I, uh, Uncle Roger trying to make family-friendly video. <laughs> oh, subscribe to Auntie Liz's channel. <laughs> she makes so many dirty jokes on there. And also, when you take spaghetti out, you want to throw away the broken spaghetti. Because broken spaghetti only for broken family. Don't use it. <laughs> Damn. Uncle Roger, do you know how the Italians measure portions for spaghetti? You just go like that. Oh, oh. but then if your hand's small, you eat less. Yeah. Auntie Liz is very used to this motion. <laughs> now we're going to make the carbonara sauce. For the sauce, Uncle Roger loves to use either one or two egg yolk per portion. I feel like the sauce is the spirit of many Western food. Depending on how many baby chicken you want to kill. This is pecorino. <laughs> don't use parmesan, don't be basic. Oh, we'll have cheese. Now mix it all together. I know this Italian food, but Uncle Roger likes to mix with chopstick. <laughs> and some black pepper. Yeah, I don't have a whisk either, I just use chopstick. This is Asian. And of course, the king of flavor, MSG. Don't put too much because guanciale already quite salty. Too much MSG? Yeah, Uncle Roger learned. Uncle Roger think in my fried rice video, I put too much MSG in there. So many people complaining. It's all right. It was very salty. You want it to have this kind of creamy consistency. Mmm. Do you good. want to eat this raw? No. It's just salmonella. Don't be pussy. We cook our spaghetti. Boil a pot of water. Usually, we salt our pasta water with regular salt. But for Uncle Roger, I salt my pasta water with MSG. Just use feeling. That works. When the water boiling, now time to put pasta in there. Your saucepan not big enough. I, uh... You chose the saucepan, Uncle Roger. Shh. Don't tell our viewer that. <laughs> They think I am god of cooking. We cook it for 10 <laughs> minutes are. while the pasta cooking. We're gonna make our guanciale. Oh, nice sauce. Auntie Liz, Uncle Roger know you don't have fire. So I brought my own fire. Wow. Give the guanciale some wok hey. Make it more crispy. I like to use this kind of things. It just makes the meat feel so good. Like it adds some smoke flavor on it. When there are two minutes left of your pasta cooking time, take some of your pasta water. You want that starchy water for later. Correct. And the water has MSG also. Have you had MSG pasta? No, I haven't actually. This is going to be a first. It's always a first with you, Uncle Roger. Oh, I want to have carbonara right now. Yulia just makes this kind of Western food by myself because my cooking is better than the restaurant and much, much cheaper. First, it's always good. Uncle Roger, remember my first time? Full of awkward and crying. <laughs> Hopefully, this first time better. Pasta done cooking. Take it out. And this is the only time Uncle Roger will use colander. Pour in your pasta oh, water. Now pour in your carbonara sauce. Good. Ah, so no cream. I didn't now know that. Now it's ready to be served. Because I usually just use milk. Sprinkle in more black pepper. 
portrait in my pecorino. Here you go, Uncle Roger, walk hey MSG carbonara. You see, every noodle has some sauce on it. Looks so good. What you think? What you think? Looks good. good. Let's try it. I will smash okay. like butter. Okay, using chopsticks. Hiya. Italian Asian fusion. What you think? Give the video answer and also give honest answer. Mm -hmm. No, but it's nice. I like the, uh, the guanciale. It tastes really, really good. The sour white pepper, really good. Mwah. Anything I can improve? More pecorino. Mmm. A touch. Vincenzo, here my carbonara. Auntie Liz approved. Looks what you good. think? What, what you think? think? Yeah, Michelin one star chef approved. Uncle Roger is amazing. Why don't you review Uncle Roger carbonara video? See how I do. All your video is Italian food, Italian food. Hiya, so boring. <laughs> it's Italian I show all chef. your children sick of your Italian food. It's much better than Jamie Oliver, like he cook food around the world and just fuck up all the food around the world. Now, they want to eat something from different culture. Vincenzo, Uncle Roger challenged you to make egg fried rice. It looks simple, but it not. So many people fuck it up. <laughs> Remember, don't be like Jamie Oliver. Don't use chili jam. <laughs> Niece and nephew, subscribe to Vincenzo channel and subscribe to Auntie Liz channel. It's gonna make so many good food videos. Video. And buy Auntie Liz cookbook. There's no pasta dishes in there, but there's plenty of noodle dishes. Just hit in the link in the below. Can't seem to get rid of you, Nigel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That's cool. Oh, people love the bloopers anyway, yeah. There's so many bloopers in our videos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Buffering. Hiya. <laughs> He's growing fresh. Yeah, and go <laughs> Look at her. Next kitchen I'm going to have is going to be soundproof. Hey. Wow. I work here too. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Liz, not famous enough. She's not famous in famous my, uh, my own restaurant. Go follow her Instagram, she's getting jealous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nigel, let's see what you've got. Roger, Roger. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I hang with them too much. <laughs> These two are really good friends. Field strokes. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> this is so cute. I'm talking about this is spaghetti. What's the difference? It's slightly it's thicker. thicker. Yeah. Everything's better when it's thicker. Yeah, yeah say that. <laughs> say that. Say that. <laughs> I just look like the dirty partner, aren't I? Yes. They're just sparkles when they are making It's now the year together. 2023. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for watching with me. And I think it's just a video for Uncle Roger making carbonara. I'm so hungry after watching this and I want to do carbonara myself, but I don't have such ah, uh, what kind of cheese and rich bacon. I don't know how to say, but I will make my own version. Thank you for your watching and don't forget to give me a like or subscribe. I will reply to all comments and I will also release more Uncle Rich. <laughs> I will also release more Uncle Roger reaction video. Bye bye.